Greetings from Oregon, where we are freshly back from a safari. We are the learners and the makers. make sure our children get in their childhood is the importance of experience over things. And so for this year, we had talked to grandparents and family about possibly gifting gift certificates to some places instead of giving gifts. And Gifting Adventures. Gifting Adventures is right. One of the places that we had talked about wanting to go to was Wildlife Safari. Wildlife Safari is a massive open air wildlife park that's about an hour and a half hour and a half drive south of Eugene. It's in this really lovely part of the Kayapuya Mountains. When you get there, there's like a walk around little village, basically like a small zoo has a bunch of different wildlife and different exhibits, but the main thing about this park is you can drive through this other massive area and see a ton of wildlife up close. Caution, wild animals. Baby, Connor, can you unbuckle her chest buckle for her? Sure. Enter at your own risk. into the sun There's more to see that can never be seen More to do than can never be done There's far too much to take in here More to find than can never be done But the sun rolling Fire sky keeps great and small on the endless round. It's the circle life, and it moves us all through despair and hope, through faith and love. you're in your car you're probably not really closer than for a lot of it for some of it than you would be at the zoo and sometimes you're f way further away and sometimes but you're way closer <laughs> sometimes you're way closer and it's like the excitement of the possibility of being closer that makes it kind of fun yes one of the most memorable things i think from this trip was that um close to the end as you kind of re-enter the Africa section, um, they have a section where you can buy uh, food. 
to Called feed. A, a feed me cup. Yeah. And so we got two cups for the kids and it it was it was <laughs> comical and a little intense at times, but um that slight touch of almost scary. It could, <laughs> it could, it could also be called the up close and personal up cup. Close and or the, personal. the in your face cup. <laughs> It was where the giant bear came out and my hand was in my cup and it cracked it. And I tried and I was like, what was in my cup? And I got like, win the red giant bird. Giant bird. The same bird you were shooting, Connor. Oh, those ones that went back, 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 back in the cup. Back, back, back. Yeah. kids they <laughs> loved it and at first they were very just a few pieces but then as as it got going as they got into it it got yeah. more and more <laughs> and uh it definitely i think we'll always remember that connor what was your favorite part of today how those birds those little birds in the cage landed on my arm like that i also happy that i got the feet Ten. Well, I got the feed. I think I fed ten too. Ooh. Was it in the aviary with the little birds? They mm -hmm. landed on your arm. The budgies. Yep. yep. It was one one where you there where they landed on your arm, Connie. Yeah, I had my arm out like this. And then some of them just like blew a bird straight on it. Did it hurt? Nope. Part of why we value experiences and adventures so much is, you, you probably know this too, is that one of the challenges of life is maintaining and nurturing and sharing a sense of wonder. I'm very happy to be naive and wide-eyed, and I, I want our kids to have that sense of wonder and to know that it's important that there's so much in this world that we may never know or just get the teeny little glimmer or taste of. Mm -hmm. So things like this, you know, one of the things that stuck out to me so much throughout today was them going up to different exhibits or driving by another area of animals and just them being so into it. Mm -hmm. with the oohs and the ahs and talking about what the animal was and everything. Just their engagement and interest, that meant everything to me. Thanks for letting us share our trip to Wildlife Safari with you. And thank you, Wildlife Safari, for having us today.
If you want to follow more of our day-to-day adventures, you can follow us on Instagram at Learners and Makers. We'll see you there. And can't wait to hear your feedback in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.